Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry is here to stay. After another day of counting votes through ranked choice, the mayor was reelected for another four years. Fry's message was to reform policing while keeping the department intact. Last night, voters rejected question two, a proposal to disband the current system and create a department of public safety. So what is Fry's reform plan now and how can he get it done? Here's Caroline Cummings. Protesters shouted down Jacob Fry last summer after he refused to commit to abolishing the police department. But after the sun set over Minneapolis Tuesday night, it was clear the city's police department is here to stay. We need deep and structural change to policing in America. <laughs> and at the same time, we need police officers to make sure that they are working directly with community to keep us safe. We do have an opportunity. By right. Wednesday, with another four years in City Hall secured, Fry vowed to get to work. The work will start in the immediacy. Fry says his public safety uh, approach includes hiring community-oriented officers, investing more in programs and services beyond policing, and integrating all public safety work, including police, and social and mental health services. Should also give us but he declined to say that would mean under one department, like a Department of Public Safety proposed in question two. I didn't think that was workable, and clearly the majority of our city agreed. Uh, but now is an opportunity, yes, to integrate the approach. Um, I don't want to prescribe exactly what it will look like yet. Um, uh, but we, we're, we're going to be rolling out in conjunction with a whole lot of people in the coming weeks and months. The mayor enters a new term with more than half the city council new members, and he'll have to work with them to get a lot of these policies through. I'm very hopeful that with this new council coming in, we will get to that work in a collaborative fashion. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.